Well, hello and welcome to this video on what's new in NetBeans 10. NetBeans 10 is probably going to be released this coming week, uh, sometime probably before the 17th. I'm not actually too sure, but we're on voting candidate 3. And so I thought we'd have a look at what new items are going to be available in NetBeans. What's new? First of all, there's support for JDK 11. That's probably the biggest piece of support uh, or news, should I say. It might be better to remain with JDK 10 and wait for JDK 11 um, to be updated. Um, it's not a problem with... Um, NetBeans, it's actually a problem, a JDK 11 problem, which they are in the process of uh, updating, so it's something that uh, we know is going to happen. They've added JUnit 5 to the system, um, so this was quite easy because there was an existing JUnit, so it's been fairly easy to add JUnit 5. The next is, of course, Groovy. So Groovy's been added. Now you might say, well, yeah, well, we had Groovy before and things like that. Well, what's happened is with it going over to Apache, with the code being um, sent to Apache, they've had to, of course, update everything. They've had to check it. They've had to um, put it on Git. Um, and uh, they've got to change the licenses and this type of thing. So there has been a bit of work that they've needed to do. The next, of course, is JavaScript. If you remember in NetBeans 9, there was no JavaScript support. You had to uh, load in the plugins from 8.2 and then activate those. The next, of course, is PHP up to 7.3. So the support for PHP up to 7.3. Now this is the exciting thing for me because I tend to use NetBeans for web development and PHP development so I'm very excited by this and uh, it's very nice to see that a lot of the, the markings for potential errors have been removed from my code because it now supports 7.3. It also supports 7.0 etc 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 so all of the changes in there and in fact at the moment I'm actually using PHP 7.2 uh, on my system 7.2.8 and uh, it's fine it's absolutely fine there's no problem with that as to bug fixes most of the bug fixes seem to be about the uh, the lambda variables and so on in uh, JDK as far as I can see there were one two three four bug fixes and a uh, and an enhancement for the um, lambda expression parameters so they seem to be the the main the main fixes okay so let's just quickly have a look at the new apache netbeans 10 and here you can see i've got the options window open and automatically you can see there's html a JavaScript and PHP showing so you can see that these are here natively they're they're in part of the system so which is good if we have a look at the plugins and we're showing the install plugins you can see that uh, HTML5 and PHP are here by default so the HTML5 also includes of course the um, JavaScript support for that. Now, if you do need C or C++ and that type of thing, if you come to settings, you will be able to um, activate the 8.2 plugin portal. And if you do that, you will actually have your C++. And as you can see, the available plugins have gone up. So you can actually add those items as required. At the present time I don't think I need any of those on mine so I'm just going to remove it. 
Okay. And here I've got a PHP project open. In fact, it just so happens to be the basic project. It's just what I've downloaded. And you can see we've got the red exclamation mark still, but that's um, from some of the items in Bootstrap rather than anything else okay so if we have a look at the project you can see automatically we've got PHP version 7.3 is available I'm using 7.2 so you can see we actually have that there okay so that was a quick look at um, what's new in NetBeans 10 I'm very excited about the fact that PHP and HTML5 and JavaScript have been added natively to it. It will be available to download very shortly, probably within the next seven days, I would uh, my, is my guess. Please do download it and use it. If you do have a problem, then this is a case of the JDK 11 and you can go back to using the JDK 8 or the JDK 10. At the present time, I actually am using JDK 8 with this version of the IDE because there is a, a glitch when you run the program uh, in that it doesn't actually open in the browser with JDK 11. Uh, this is something they do know about and they are working on. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. My name's John and I'll see you next time.